So we are back on the trailer. We've had a little bit of a dilemma, but it's okay. You might have noticed, if you were watching real closely in the, in the last video of the Rokon, this front tire doesn't fit. So we've actually got to cut this thing, extend it out, and redo the trailer. I'm a little bummed out, but unfortunately that's life. And you know what? We had an issue with the sealer and the base coat. I let it sit for too long. I misread the TDS sheet. And you know what? I'm a human being and we make mistakes. So we're gonna be able to take care of both things all at once. We're gonna be sandblasting this thing back down, getting it redone and making it perfect for Ed. When we went out and took the Rokon on its first drive, we were able to see that the, that the ramp started to crack and the paint started to peel. We were able to see up here, paint comes off in sheets. Paint is not supposed to do that. So what happened is I let the sealer sit for too long and it case hardened. So when I put my base coat over it, it's supposed to be able to etch back down inside of it and it just wasn't able to. Nobody else's fault but my own. Oh well, we're gonna just take care of it and get it fixed. First things first, we're gonna get this hoop all cut apart, get it widened, get it re-welded back in, get a spacer put in there. And then we're gonna take care of another little issue that we found. We went to tie up this. There's no way to keep this ramp up. We're actually gonna build straps that hold the ramp up and hold it out so that when Ed's going down the road, this thing is pinned and locked. We're gonna be doing some fabrication and we're gonna have these pins coming out the side to where the straps can just go on and we'll lock them in like this. We've got a lot of stuff to do, so let's get to work. All right, so what I wanna do first is I wanna take the bike off. I'm gonna evaluate what I need to do to the front, get it all cut, get it widened, and get it re-welded back in place. All right, we got dinner at the front making sure that the front of the trailer doesn't fly up. What are you doing up there, dinner? Counterweight. Nice. <laughs> oh, look who decided to come back to work. I was visiting my family. It's really nice of him. Be careful, you're scratching the paint. <laughs> You scratched it. What? It's kind of weird grinding on a brand new trailer that you just painted. All right, I got one side all ground down. Hillbilly's working on getting the boards unbolted. That way when we weld, we don't add any more patina to our wood that we already have from Mother Nature. I'm gonna have to pop the back up and put some pressure on this one to get it out. Man, I would have never thought like a week later we'd be ripping this thing apart, but that's how it goes. Hey, hello, how you doing? <laughs> The boards are taking off. You beat Hillbilly. I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but I did get it done a lot quicker than Hillbilly. Who's even timing it? Are you done yet? Done. About time. This isn't gonna work. We need boards back, and we need the wheel support. Can you sit there and hold the bike up there while we go take a nap? Perfect. Now that we got that all safe and sound and secure like it should be, we gotta figure out. Let's back it on up. Beep, beep, beep. We're too short. Yeah, we are. But I think it'll work like this. It's wide enough for the sprocket. The chain's not hitting. Mm -mm. If we go right there, we can build a platform here. The chain's not hitting. I need a bar, but we don't have any tubing, so I'm gonna have to run down to Mass real quick. That's not real quick though. It's Actually, a I won't run. Power drive. No, I'll just fly there. On my magic carpet, obviously. All right, I'm gonna fly down to Mass real quick, so I'll be right back. Carpet there. ride to Hurricane Utah. <laughs> My name is Robbie Layton, and I'm flying on my magic carpet to Matt's Off-Road Recovery because I need to fix the trailer and I have no metal, so I'm going to get the metal from Matt's. And now we're there. Oh. Wow, that was a rough flight. Hey, Matt. Do you have some scrap metal I can take for the trailer? It's all gonna be right there. All right, I'll find something. All right, that'll do. Okay, back to the shop. Now, if we just gotta wait for Robbie, that could take hours. 
Got it. Found me some pipe down at Matt's. You must have done a tune-up and put a turbo on the magic carpet to make it go faster. That's why it's called the magic carpet. I get down there really quick. <laughs> Beat him again. We can do an inch piece, put it in, pull the bike into it, see how it fits. We got room for the sprocket. We got a little bit of room over there. I say we do an inch. That looks about right. What is that? Eight little lines. How many squigglies is that? About 15 squigglies. Oh, perfect. There's an inch. You can stay on the line. Let's go fit that in and see if it's gonna work. All right, so we need to cut two little feeties for the bottoms of that, that are five eighths of an inch. Bada bing, bada boom. Now test fit it on the other side. Yes, sir. Five eighths. Well, I'm pretty glad that I went down to Matt's and got us some metal. Seems like it's just gonna work out perfect, just like everything. All right, we'll go get these things deburred and get them all welded in. We got the hoop all extended. We got it half welded, welded enough that we can tighten the bike up in it. We're not cranking it down right now because we've got it on the bars. There's gonna be a different way to strap it, but it's holding tight. It's got room for the sprocket, and I think it's gonna work out just fine. We're gonna get the Rokon off. We're gonna finish welding this up. Then we gotta take care of the back. So we gotta figure out a strap system so that the back ramp holds itself in place. We're trying to figure out how to strap this ramp, because we don't want it straight up and down. We want it a little bit angled forward. We're gonna use some one inch strapping. So we're gonna cut two 20 inch pieces of flat strap. So Hillbilly's gonna work on that. And then we're gonna build a little bracket that welds to here. And we're gonna bolt it on, pin it to this, and it should hold itself. We saw this before and we actually forgot to weld it. So we're just gonna weld this up too while we're at it. All right, so anybody in the derby world understands what I mean when I say that this is derby car welding. Basically, you weld through the paint and it burns it out of your way. It's kind of like shielding gas. It works out really well. Gotta get rid of all them sharp edges so we don't want no one getting cut. I got it all derby welded. We're gonna let that thing cool down and then we're gonna grind up this top. Make it look a little bit better. For the most part, this bad boy is done. That ain't going nowhere, except for fast. This is so weird, grinding on a brand new painted trailer. But I like it. All right, is that centered enough? What do I gotta look at with, my cricket one or my cricket one? Oh, that's great. Time out, time out. I got a question. Didn't even smoke it. Why are we working harder, not smarter? You got two drill presses, we're still using our own. We don't have drill presses that work good because we're not cool. This is our bolt, our pivot point. It's a little sloppy and loose so that we can have some room. We have a shouldered bolt. Boom, like such. We are going to tap it into this sucker. Straighten that up, stand it up. We gotta make sure that's above the wood. All right. <laughs> Give me a little bit of tap magic, WD-40. I'm sure it's wrong, but it's what we've got. It works better than no lubricant. That'll do, donkey. All right, so we got our ramp strap, our ramp strap apparatuses. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull the bike back up on, and we're gonna put the ramp up where we want it, and then we're gonna make some holes where our pins are gonna go. And our pins are gonna get permanently fastened in here. I'm gonna weld them into the ramp so they just stick out a little bit so that this can come up and just hold itself right there. All right, so we ran into a little dilemma. The new hitch that's been welded up and put on here is a little bit big, but luckily one of you awesome viewers came through. Check this out. Brand old factory Rokon hitch. This awesome hitch was donated from Mark Burgess. Thank you, Mark. Ed's gonna love it. We're clearing the tire everywhere. Nice. All right, so this is super awesome, but I think the factory one looks cooler. What do you guys think? 
that pretty cool that we were able to get one of those? And I didn't even know. One of you awesome viewers just sent it. That's why we love engaging with you guys, because you guys always come through and never let us down. Oh, sorry, bad. All right, so this is where we want the ramp. It's a little bit forward, but it's got plenty of room in between the Rokon and everything. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna drill a hole through both of these, and I'm gonna put a pin in it, and then I'm gonna weld the pin so that this outside can just come off and the pin stays on the ramp. Okay, so this pin we're gonna weld and then we'll just use Cut it when we need it. So we have got what we set out to fix, fix. We've got two straps for that ramp to hold it up. We've got the front all widened to where the tire fits in it. Now all we gotta do is get this thing pulled apart so we can get it re so we can redo it. Looking good, but we gotta get this done. I know, I actually like this. I think Ed'll like it too. I wish we would've thought of it, but you know what? Some of the best thoughts are your afterthoughts. So we're gonna get the Rokon taken off of it and get this thing disassembled for the final time. So we can get it up and get it sandblasted so we can get it redone. So we've got our sweet little pin system. Look at that. So perfect. When we made it to where the straps, they just lay right to the side. They won't get in the way of anything. There's wood on here normally, so don't worry. I just can't wait to see Ed cruising this thing. Why don't you get you one? Should we get us a Rokon so we can go cruising with Ed? I think we should get one. Like he'll be said, it'd be cool. Would that be cool? Let us know in the comments. You get an older one or would you get a newer one? Four stroke. I don't know. That's what. Is that what Ed's is? Or? They take the heat better. You watch a lot of bikes and beards, don't you? They've Makes got a me cool jealous because I want a Harley. <laughs> Sean and Craig, it's all they do. Eat, sleep, breathe Harleys. Sean is Hillbilly's idol. He's probably his biggest fan. <laughs> I'm super tired because it's way late, so I'm not going to do any lifting. I'm going to use magic. <laughs> Works like a charm. I don't do that every time. Now, if only I could get this thing pulled apart like that. Ah, fingers are a little stingy. Like we did in the last video, we'll get this hitch pulled apart. We'll get those chains off. We're going to get this axle dropped out of it. And then we're going to have to take those new straps off that we just put on. Actually, I think we should leave the straps on there until we get up there to hold the ramp in place. Yeah, that's a good idea. One nice thing, none of the Cerakote has to get redone because that all turned out great. And luckily, we don't have to take apart the axle. We're just going to drop the leaves out of it so no hubs coming off. It'll just come out in an assembly, just like such. Now, I just need to grind up the front and the trailer's pretty well ready to get loaded and get taken up to the sandblaster. All right, we've got this all finished up. Could you get any closer? I'm like an Oreo. <laughs> okay, so as you guys saw, we absolutely screwed up the trailer. But that's okay. That's why it's gonna be done perfect now. So nothing leaves this shop without our big stamp of approval. And that trailer, unfortunately, didn't pass our QC test. So we stripped it down, we fixed the problems, we figured out what went wrong, we just had a paint problem. That's how it goes in a body shop. The best option was to take it up to sandblasting, get it re-sandblasted, and here we are. As always, we appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.